Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to build a really useful cabinet right here in the entryway. It's basically a shoe cabinet, a super practical piece that honestly every home needs. So let's jump right in and get it started. First, I am drawing a rectangle with the dimensions 300 by 1000. Then, uh, using the pushable tools, push it by 3000 millimeters. Now, from the bottom, I am marking a distance of 50 millimeters. And from the top, also 50 millimeters. And then another 600 millimeters. Here, I'll use the line tool to draw lines at these marks. And from each of these lines, I'm copying another line at a distance of 5 millimeters. Next, right in, in the middle, I draw a vertical line and I copy that too at a distance of 5 millimeters. Now I'll erase some of the extra lines, select everything and make it group. Alright, let's move on. Again, I'm drawing another rectangle with dimensions 300 by 500 millimeters. And this time with the pushable tool, I push it onto the first cabinet exactly at that nose mark distance so it's match. Now from the bottom I mark 600 millimeters, then another 200. Now I draw two horizontal lines here with two, with line tools and push it them all the way through. Now I'll clean up the extra lines. Next, I am drawing a rectangle with the dimensions 300 by 1500 millimeters. Then I push it by 200. Using the offset tool, I offset it by 16 millimeters. In the middle part, I push it inward. I select everything again and I group it. Now I'll move this piece into the empty space of the cabinet and it fits perfectly. So now we've got ourselves a very functional, modern and minimal cabinet with a clean design. Okay, time for materials. For these two first cabinets, I'll use this blue color. For the middle lines, I'll use black color and I'll push them inward by about 7 millimeters. For the middle cabinet, I'm also using the same blue color. And for the side cabinet, I'll pick, the, pick this other shade and again use black for the lines and also pushing them slightly in, inward too and there we have it. Now I'll place this cabinet inside the entryway space and add some objects. Since the video is already getting long I'll stop here and adding objects. But just look at the result. The whole entrance space looks completely transformed and so much better. For this top part, you could add a mirror or a maybe painting or why not both? It really depends on your style. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed this build, make sure to like the video, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the upcoming projects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.